As you can see, this is Minecraft 1.19.4 and I'm running a local server that is completely free to make and that you could have your friends join, that you could do anything that you want as you do in a normal server. And just so you guys can see, I'm an OP myself. And as you can see in the game, I made myself an OP and this is for the newer version of Minecraft. Hopefully this video helps most of you. So let's get started with the tutorial. So the first step to making the Minecraft server for Minecraft 1.19.4 is to click the second link in the description, which will bring you to our written guide on how to actually download and install the server file for Minecraft. Of course, feel free to scroll down and read through the guide and look at the photos. But the main thing in here, if you want to follow along the video, is to click where it says download server jar. Once you click in there, you're going to be redirected to Minecraft official website, which is pretty good. And in here, you're going to look for the download link. As you can see, it's right here. It says download Minecraft server 1.19.4.jar. Very important that we remember it's a jar file because we're going to need to keep that in mind in the next step. So go ahead and click on that little green line in there. And that is going to start the download automatically for the server file. As you can see, it's asking me where I want to save the file. But for you, it's probably going to download straight away to your downloads folder. If you have the new version of Chrome, the download is going to show on the top right. If you have the older version, it's going to be on the bottom left. But if you don't know where your download is, you could always find it in your downloads folder. Once you have the file, go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. Your file should be named something like server.jar. Instead, mine has a 7 because I have downloaded this file a bunch of time to make tutorials for you guys. Anyways, once you have the server.jar file, we're kind of ready to start installing the server. The thing is that if you don't see this little copying here, right, you see that little little cop, the little icon, that could be an issue. Another issue that you might have is that you have an outdated Java and actually having an outdated Java is what causes the issue of not seeing the little copy here or this file not running. So before you go ahead and install the server file, I want you to make sure you have an updated version of Java, an updated version of Java, meaning that you have at least Java 17. In order to check what Java you have, just go ahead and click where it says type here to search and type auto remove programs. Once the auto remove programs tab opens, go ahead and click where it says search this list and type Java. So you can see I have Java 17, that means that I'm good to go ahead and install the server file. And most of you might have Java 7 or Java 8 and installing the server won't work as of now. But don't worry because updating Java is really, really simple. It's just a two step process and I'm going to show you how to do it real quick. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my older version of Java or actually my version of Java, which is the, the one I need. But I'm just going to get rid of it to show you guys how to update it in this tutorial so you don't feel left out. Just go ahead and click on your version of Java, click on install and we're going to be installing the new version of Java. It might prompt you with the administrator sign. Go ahead and allow it to uninstall and that's it as you can see java is gone and now we're going to actually download the newer version of java so for that click on the third link in the description which of course is our written guide on how to download and install java now of course you could read through the guide look at the photos if that helps you but you're probably following along the video so just scroll down and click where it says download java here that is going to redirect you to java official website where you're going to scroll down and you're going to select java 17 as you can see you have java 19 we're going to go ahead and use java 17 because any minecraft above minecraft 1.16.4 will require you to have Java 17 for either modding Minecraft, installing a server, stuff like that. And that is the reason we need to get the newer version of Java. So click on Java 17 and then of course select Windows because I'm assuming most of you are doing this for Windows. If you're doing it for Mac, well, maybe you have to select Mac. But anyways, once you select a window, go and look for x64 installer, which should be in the middle and then click on this little blue line in here, which is going to start the download automatically. Of course, go ahead and save that file. Like you saw, it always asks me where I want to save the file, but for you, it's probably going to start downloading automatically as you can see here in the top right for the newer version of Chrome. Also, if you're using things like Opera GX, it's also going to show on the top right. Whatever browser you're using, go ahead and get that file that you just downloaded and put it in your desktop next to your, next to your server file. Anyways, now that we have the Java 17 installer, let's go ahead and install it. Just double click on it. And once you double click on it, it's going to prompt you with the administrator sign. Just allow it to run and then just click next. Once the installer has opened, click next again and let Java install. And well, Java install, let me tell you real quick about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. And the reason to Today's sponsor is very important for you is because you are trying to make a Minecraft server. The thing is that the Minecraft server that we're going to make is a local hosted server, meaning that the people that are going to be able to join your server are people like friends, close friends, actually, because you are going to need to use your IP address to let those people join. And as you might know, your IP address is very important and it's something that should be kept very private. So if you are trying to make a server for random people to join, or if you're trying to make a server that you don't need your computer on, or maybe your computer is not as powerful as you need it to make a server, that is why we have Apex Hosting. They provide your server for Java, Bedrock Edition, and you could also make a server that is one click away once you're inside Minecraft. It's really, really simple. You could actually control the server through your phone, which I think is pretty cool. You could access the server console through your phone. And on top of all of that, if you use the first link in the description, you'll get 25% off. 25% off is a big discount if you ask me. First link in the description to make your first server with Apex Hosting with 25% off. So I'm going to leave that link there and let's keep going with the tutorial. As you can see, Java 17 has completely installed. Let's go ahead and click on close 
for that. And now let's go ahead and delete the Java installer. We don't need it anymore. And now we are kind of ready to start the server. To install the server, it's pretty simple. Just right click on it, click open with, and then select Java. If Java doesn't show in there, which it should for most of you now, because we install it, you just need to run a jar fix, which is really simple. And of course, I'm also going to leave a link in the description on how to run a jar fix. Like you can see, it's a three step process. Literally, look how short this guy is. And I'm going to leave a link in the description in case the server is not opening. OK, so the next step is to actually install the server and installing a server should be real, real easy, real simple. Just go ahead and create a new folder first because we want to have the server in a folder. I'm going to name this folder 1.19.4 because that is what this tutorial is for. Go ahead and open that folder and then drag and drop your server file into that folder. Let me move this so you guys could see better. And now we have the server file in there to start running the server. Just double click on your server file or actually right click and click open with and you could select Java. If Java doesn't show there after we updated Java, that might mean that you need to run a jar fix. Running a jar fix is a three step process. As you can see, I have a guide here for you guys. I'm going to leave that link in the description as well. And it's really a three step process. As you can see, one, two, Three steps is super, super simple, and it might fix your issues if the server file, the server that jar file is not running after you install Java. So once we have that file in here, you could just double click on it or use open with and use your Java TM. And as you can see, the server starts running, starts extracting files in here and you're looking for a file called ULA once you double click on the server because that is going to prevent your server from running as long as we don't accept the ULA. As you can see, it says false right now. That is because we need to agree to the ULA rules, you know, the online rules for running a server. The only thing you need to do to agree to those rules is change the false to true. So you just go ahead and type true. Oh, I messed up. And you have to make sure you don't mess up. Do not put any spaces after, just leave it as true and then file save. You can close this file, this text file, the ULA, and then double click the server again. And this time the server should actually run completely just give it a second it might take a little bit as you can see it's taking a little bit for me and there we go the server is actually running now it's preparing the spawn area and how do we know that we made the right server well we could actually join it now so let's go ahead and launch our minecraft launcher and we're going to join our minecraft uh, server using minecraft 1.19.4 so let me go ahead and open the launcher and i'm going to do all of this live i'm going to try not and put any cuts so you guys don't say that i that i cheated or something right so let's just go ahead and wait for this to, to load the launcher. It's actually taking a lot lately. I don't know why, but there we go. We have the latest release. Let's go ahead and click on play and let's wait for Minecraft to open. And we're going to join our own server. And as you can see, we have the server console in here, which is pretty cool because the older uh, console, I don't know, for those of you that have made a server in the past, if you remember, the older console was a bit crazy, right? It was just a, a black screen with a lot of text in it but this one is a little bit more organized you're able to see the players who are online the memory that it's using all the time and stuff like that which is pretty useful when you're running a server anyways minecraft is about to open and as you can see it already opened over here and we're about to join our server the way you join your own server is by going to multiplayer you could click direct connection or you could add a server if you want to have it here forever safe just click direct connection this time because we're going to make it real quick and as you can see, I have a server address in here. That is my local IP address, but I'm not going to use that right now because we haven't added that to the settings yet. The way you're going to join your server right now is by typing localhost and then just join server. That is going to join the world. As you can see, it also tells me over here and we're running X-Ray right now. If you want to watch that video, make sure you watch it next on how to install X-Ray if you want to use X-Ray and you could actually use X-Ray on your own server, which is pretty cool. So let me go ahead and get rid of the X-Ray though, because that is going to be crazy for this video. That is one way to join your server using the local host. Another way you can join your server if the local host doesn't work is by going to direct connection and just literally typing in zero. You're just putting in zero, you click join and it joins your server again. As you can see, that is another way you could join your server. Another way you could have eventually join your server is just using your local IP address as I was using it before. Adding your IP address, it's something that we need to do in order to port forward the server because I'm assuming you make it the server to play with friends. And if that's the case, if you want to play with friends, you actually need to port forward the server. But port forwarding is a process that takes as long as it took me to make this video. So it takes around eight to nine minutes. And don't worry, because I have a guide on how to do that. So if you're looking to play this server with friends now that you have created the server, I'm going to leave a video right now. So you could go watch that right now. That video should be coming up on the screen. If you watch that video, you will be able to port forward the server and play with friends, which is probably what most of you want. So I don't know what you're waiting for. Go watch that video. Learn how to port forward this server and play with friends.